Hey guys, Jason here from Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Blender to make very simple reliefs for CNC without doing any modeling. Blender is an open source free program that's made for sculpting, video editing, 2D animation, and a lot more. I want to start by saying that I am not a Blender expert. I am just learning how to use this program and the things that I'm going to show you there may be better ways to do them. This is just what I have figured out and I'm still learning as well. I'd love to hear your opinion on Blender and creating 3D reliefs as well. When you download and install Blender and open it up for the first time you're going to get this screen. This basically asks you what kind of file you're going to work on and we're just going to be working on a general type of file. When the program starts it gives you these three items a cube, this is a light source, and this is a camera view. Now we don't need any of this stuff for what we're going to do so we're just going to highlight all of it and press delete to get rid of it. Our first step is going to be to add a plane now up here at the top are your add buttons and we're simply going to add a plane or a flat plane to start with. When I start this it opens up our settings window over here on the right side and this is where most of the manipulation comes from. Now the first thing that I want to do now that I have my plane open is go over here to my modifiers. And this is where we're going to modify this plane. Now I want to add a modifier and if I go to generate and all the way down to subdivision surface. The reason that we're doing this is to subdivide this plane into smaller sections. This is going to give us a higher resolution when it comes to modeling. So we're going to go over here and we're just going to increase this all the way up to 6. And then I'm going to go right here. This little arrow down has the apply button. You also can press control A. We're going to apply that and now our plane has been subdivided by 6. I actually want to do that again. So we're going to do it twice and this time I'm picking simple. We're just going to go up four times and we're going to press apply. And now we've subdivided that an additional four times. That's going to give us enough subdivision in this plane to create our relief model. Now we're going to go back to the modifiers and we're just going to go down to this deform modifier. And the one I'm going to pick is called displace. Now we're going to displace an image. We're just going to create sort of a texture using that image. To do this, we need to go over here and press this new because we need a new texture. It's going to open up our texture window and then these two buttons on the outside show us the texture tab. Now the texture tab is the information for our texture. Now we want to open up a new picture to be our texture. And if I go here to my downloads, I have a picture of a banana that we're going to use as an example. When this comes in, it's going to be extremely distorted. And that's because it's stretched out. So what we need to do is we need to scale this. I'm going to go over here to my scale tool and we're going to be scaling the Z. And if you rotate this around, you can see the Z is the blue one. One axis is on the green and then our blue is our Z axis. And so if we grab that, we can scale this. And what we're going to want to do is make this scale the other direction. And I'm just moving my mouse in till I get to a certain height. Now this is still a little tall. Let's bring this down. Let's rotate it around. And now we're getting sort of that raised relief. Now it is pretty pixelated and it is pretty rough. This has a lot to do with the quality of our picture and we're just using the raw image to make this but it will still work. And now that we have that size down we can do is go back to our modifiers and we're going to apply that displace. That's going to create our model. We're going to go back to modify and we're going to go to deform and this time we're going to go down to our smooth tool. We're going to select smooth and if I move this left and right I can adjust a smoothing on this banana. Now it's it's ever so slight smoothing so we can repeat the smoothing by increasing the number of times that the smoothing takes place. 
And then once you find the smoothing that brings all of those pixelations down, then you can go back and press apply. And this gives us the very base of our model. Now from here, we could export this into Carfco Maker or Maker Plus. Now the Banana Man was a raw photo. So what I wanna do is show you a different way to do this using the same technique. We're gonna delete our items and we're going to add a new mesh. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna do our modifiers, generate subdivision surface, simple, about four times and apply. Now this time we're gonna use a couple of AI programs to help make our image look better. And for this, I'm gonna use this Pixel Cut AI Image Upscaler. This is also a free website that you can use to upscale your images. I just click on Upload Image and it's gonna take me to this little box where I wanna add my image. And we're just gonna pick this B as our example for this one. And I open this up. This is an AI image that I got from Bing AI. And the Image Upscaler really helps sharpen all of those details and we just want to download this once i have this downloaded the next tool that i'm going to use is called zodepth now you can find this on huggingface.co and just search for zodepth and what this program does is it creates a depth map from an image. We're going to select our upscaled image and press submit. This is going to give us a depth map of our image. Now we just want to download this. Going back to Blender and we're going to click that displace tool. We press new and we're going to open our texture. We're just going to use these depth map versions of the pictures. I did the original and the upscaled one to see what the differences are. Let's look at the upscaled one first. When we bring it in, it's awful high. So again, we're going to want to use our scale tool. There's a shortcut to this by pressing S and then Z. Z, and then that allows you to jump to that quickly. Now this looks pretty rough. So I'm gonna, let's look at the other one. This one looks a little better. And the reason we were using our depth map is to just get the basic shape of our image. We weren't really trying to get any details. What I'm gonna do is, let me go back here and apply this displace. I'm gonna export this as an STL and we're just gonna call it B2. If I open up Maker Plus and I go to Relief and I'm gonna import that 3D model, B2. Now I currently have a 40 by 40 project and that's the size that I'm gonna make this, 40 by 40. I'm gonna center the model and we're just gonna paste it down. Now the reason I brought this into Maker Plus is because we can use a texture tool to take the photograph and add a texture back onto it. So if we go to our texture tool and we go to from file and select the file and we're gonna pick our original image and I want to set the depth or height of this at a quarter inch. If we press apply, then it applies that texture on top of it. Now, it looks like that it was off a little bit and I think that's because it's not 40 by 40. So I changed that to 40 by 40 and press apply. And now I've applied my texture onto my relief. And with Maker Plus, you can make a lot more sharper detailed reliefs this way using the depth map to get the overall shape and then using the texture relief tool to add the texture back onto the relief. If you have basic maker using the original photo, I'm gonna undo that displace and let's change the photo. Now this is the high res photo that I used. S Z, we can scale it, come back to our modifiers. We're gonna apply that, add a modifier. Let's increase the smooth a few times and let's bump it up just a little. We also created a very smooth, nice looking relief that we can now just export, file, export, STL. And we'll call this one B3. I export that. I'm gonna delete this whole page here. So if you just have Basic Maker and you use the other steps in Blender, you can go to Relief, Import 3D Model, Import B3, which we use the original photo. This is a 40 by 40, so I'm going to make it 40 by 40 and center that, paste it down. And then everybody has the Basic Smooth Relief tool, so you could come in and smooth this down just a little bit. 
and you still have a very nice looking relief. Depending on the quality of the photo, will increase the quality of your results. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more Blender content and things relating to Blender and CNC. Thanks guys, let's keep making bit happen and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>